In order for this duplication glitch to work, make sure you do not update the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom to version 1.2.0. When uploading this video, Nintendo once again patched the game before this video came out. Make sure you do not update. Welcome everyone to this new duplication video. This might be the easiest method of duplicating in 1.1.2 of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. For example, making 35 diamonds into 69 diamonds in just a couple of seconds. Easy, right? My name is Michael. And welcome to the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. In order to do so, we're gonna need a 5x bow. If you don't have a 5x bow yet, I recently made a video about it. Click in the right upper corner now to check that out. We need to go to the Tobio's Hollow Chasm in Tobio's Hollow, which is located in the Farron region. Oh yeah, by the way, if this part isn't open yet, because you're gonna need a quest for that, you need to pick up the quests in that thunder cloud there. But don't do that too early because it's part of the main quest and otherwise you might get spoiled. Just walk in and go to the hole. Jump down here and use your paraglider to safely land. And just continue for a little bit in this cave. By the way, if you like this video, then please give this video a thumbs up. That really helps with the discoverability of this channel and that is what we need to grow. And when you're there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Because most of the people that are watching my videos are not subscribed to the channel. Let's change that, shall we? Click the subscribe button and you won't miss my future content and other upcoming guides about Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and any other awesome videos about gaming. Alright, continue your walk until you see the environment changes. Like now, all of a sudden little clouds appear, it's getting a little bit foggy and this is the place where we need to go. This is a change in realm, a change in space in, in the game. This is the middle between the original upper world and the depths. For this, in order to duplicate, get out your bow, your five times bow, and attach whatever material on it you want. The five times bow is basically made that you shoot one arrow, but it multiplies till five. In this case, we're going for the diamond. 35 diamonds we have now. You shoot only one, and there are five. And as you can see, they're stuck in the air. That is because you're currently between areas in the game. Do that three or four times, not more, because then they will respawn. Walk up there and just pick them up. It's easy as that. 15 in one go. Well. That's a win of 14 diamonds in just a couple of seconds. Let's do that again. Of course, as you can see, we now have 47. That's five. Make sure you aim high enough and not at the same place. Otherwise, the other five will be destroyed. Okay, we got three full rows now. Let's go pick them all up. some couple more just be careful if you're not far away into that new area in that cloudy area this will happen you shoot your arrows and they just keep flying if that happens just take some steps back and try again because then you are not far away in yet. As you can see now five again are stuck in midair. That's two, that's three, and let's get back collecting them. A 
Very well. We got a lot of more diamonds that we can sell. This is really the easiest method of duplicating in Tears of the Kingdom 1.1.2. Hope you like this video. This is Michael signing off now. See ya.